how to standardize a potentiometer. Now, standardizing a potentiometer is simply the process of obtaining the PD per unit length of a potentiometer wire. How we do this is simply put, looking at this experiment, this is how we set up the experiment. After setting up the experiment as we have, this is a potentiometer definitely with a slide wire of uniform resistance. Then we have a driver cell right there and the switch together with the galvanometer connected in series with a cell whose EMF is known. That's why we call it a standard cell. This is a standard cell and by definition a standard cell is a cell whose EMF is known. So the first step here will is that a standard cell, which is in this case E0, and a driver cell, which is right there, are connected in the potentiometer as shown. After connecting this in the potentiometer, we, have, we close switch K, and after closing switch K, we shall get this jockey, and we shall slide it along this potentiometer wire until the point where there is no deflection of the galvanometer when the point when we reach a point where the galvanometer so, shows no deflection then that means that is the balance point and then we shall stop at that when we attain that balance point then we will go ahead and measure the balance length in this case we are assuming that our balance length will be l naught so we shall read it off and record it after measuring our balance length then we'll go ahead and find the PD per unit length. You now, of course, when we get the balance point, we are aware that when the balance point is achieved, the potential difference across the portion of the wire, that is the portion between point A and that balance point, is equal to the potential difference across the EMF. So this is what we are doing here, that the potential difference across the balance length is equal to the potential difference across the standard cell in naught. And we know that the potential difference across the balance length is going to be the PD per unit length, which we are calling K times L0, is equal to E0, E0 being the PD across the standard cell. Now we know the, P, the standard cell, we know it's EMF, that's why it's being called the standard cell. And so we simply find the value of K by making it the subject of the formula, and we are able to get the value of K. Now the value of K in this case is going to be the PD per unit length of that slide wire. We'll do an example. So this question says that there are two cells A and B connected in series and when they are connected in series they give a balance length of 758 millimeters along a potentiometer wire. When cell B is removed the balance length will fall to 123 millimeters and now the question is asking us to find the PD per unit length and the EMF of cell B and they are telling us that a condition that one of the cells that are being connected in series here, one of the cells there, its EMF is 1.5 volts. So with these kinds of questions, we first diagrammatically summarize it. In the first instance, oh, which, which we've called case one, two cells A and B are connected in series. So we are having here two cells A and B, and they are connected in series, and they give a balance length of 758 Millimeter. So when we connect them in series, they give us a balance length of 758 millimeters along a potentiometer wire. When cell B is removed, so meaning when we remove this cell B and we only leave cell A, which the question claims is only having 1.5 volts, the balance length will fall to 123 millimeters. So this is the diagrammatic summary of this question. So let's go ahead and find the PD per unit length. Now finding the PD per unit length, if you look at case 1 and case 2, this diagram can help us to find the PD per unit length because at balance point we know that the potential difference across the slide wire there is equivalent to the potential difference across this cell and since we are having this cell being 1.5 volts it means that the PD per unit length can be got. To answer Roman 1 we shall say from, from the second case, let's call it case 2, we know that at balance point that the potential difference across this portion of the wire, which is the, let's call this AB. So in case two, we know that the potential difference across AB, which is VAB, is going to be equal to the PD 
of A, which is going to give us the EMF of cell A, which is the EMF of cell A. And you know that the PD across that portion of the wire AB is given by the PD per unit length times the balance length. So the PD per unit length times the balance length is equal to the EMF of A. Now the PD per unit length, which is the value of K, which we are looking for, we shall remain as K. Multiply that by L. L is the PD per unit length, which is 123 millimeters. So it's going to be 123 millimeters is going to give us the EMF of cell A, which is 1.5 volts. So our value of K there is going to be 1.5 volts. Divide that by 123 millimeters. And our, definitely our answer right there is going to become 0 0.0122. These are volts per millimeter. And now this is our value of K, or we'll call it the PD per unit length. Now, sometimes, now these le balance lengths have been given to us in millimeters, but sometimes they can be given in centimeters. So, of course, if it was in centimeters, our units here, for would be volts per centimeter. If it was in meters, our units here would be volts per meter. So it's about the, un the units will depend on the length, the units that were used in the measurements of length. So that is Roman 1. Our Roman 1 is PD per unit length. So now Roman 2, they want us to find the EMF of cell B. So if we're looking, if we look at our second diagram here, case, uh, the, this one here, to find um, the EMF of cell B, still we are going to use the same principle that at balance point, the PD across this portion is going to be equal to the PD across whatever is in the secondary circuit. So in this case, if I may use Roman 2, we know that, let's call this X and Y. So the PD across X, Y is going to be equal to the PD across the combination here, the total EMF across the combination here of AB. And we know that the PD across this balance point is going to be given by the PD per unit length. Multiply that by the balance length is going to be equal to the EMF here. Since these two cells are in series, so it means that the total EMF here is going to be the EMF of A plus B. The EMF of A is 1.5 plus the EMF of B, which we are definitely looking for because they want us to find the EMF of cell B. So when we make uh, K, we got K right here as, because uh, we are dealing with the same... We're dealing with the same slide wire, so it means that the PD per unit length is the same. So it's going to be 0 0.0122. Multiply that by the length. Now the balance length here is 758 millimeters is going to be equal to 1.5 plus the EMF of cell B. Now when we make EB the subject of the formula, we shall end up with 7.74 volts. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe. For Kisembo Academy, this is Anwar Rangakuramia helping you manifest excellence.